Hello, I'm Grant Stevens. I'm the Commissioner of Police and I'm also the State Coordinator under the Emergency Management Act. Under the Emergency Management Act, we've issued a declaration of a major emergency and this gives us certain powers that we can enforce to ensure public safety. For COVID-19, we've made a series of directions purely for the purpose of ensuring public safety. This virus we're dealing with is spread from person to person and we've made directions which minimise the opportunity for people to engage in close groups and assist this virus in spreading. Our goal in making these directions is to slow the spread of the virus and to flatten the curve. So our health system is capable of dealing with the people who are going to be infected with this virus and require serious hospital treatment. The directions are complicated and often not easy to understand. They are all available on the website sa.gov au and you can follow the links there. These are directions for South Australia. There's a lot of information out there which adds to the confusion. Different states have different rules and the Commonwealth makes statements in relation to what they refer to as strong advice. When we make these directions we are taking advice from a range of experts including health professionals who assist us in determining the best way to reduce the spread of the virus. For most people there are a few simple rules you need to remember. The first one is about social distancing. We're all obliged to ensure that we do our best to keep 1.5 metres between us and other people. We know there are times when this is not possible and there are accommodations for that in the direction. The second rule is about gatherings. We must not have gatherings of more than 10 people. This is to ensure that we're not enabling the virus to spread more quickly. The third principle is about density. This means that we must try to keep four square metres per person inside or outside. Once again, we know there are times when this is not possible and they are factored into the directions and there are some exemptions. If you need more information about these exemptions or the directions themselves, visit sa.gov.au and follow the links to the COVID-19 information. As police, we have the power to intervene and break up crowds and advise people of their obligations in relation to social distancing. We can do this collectively and cooperatively by issuing warnings, but where we see people disregarding these directions, we may issue fines. These directions also give us the power to require people to go into isolation if they're sick or into quarantine if they've come into contact with a person who may have had the virus or if they've returned to South Australia from interstate or overseas. It's important to remember that the disease does not spread itself. People spread the disease. The directions we put in place are designed to limit social interaction and keep all South Australians safe.